When you create a Next.js app, you have the option to use TypeScript, but that doesn't mean you use TypeScript. Look, on a scale from zero to fully type safety, you are here. But today we move you at least here, because I show you some tricks you probably didn't know existed. The first tip is Next.js has a custom type checker. And to activate that, you go into your project of choice. I have a Next.js app here, set it up, and you open the command palette, TypeScript, and then select TypeScript version. And here you have to choose the workspace version. If you chose that, a hidden VS Code folder will be created with the settings of JSON setting TypeScript TSDK to your actual project. So Next.js did some great work here and built a own TypeScript plugin into the framework. What this allows us to do is, for example, write something like export const dynamic. We have these exports here and you directly see I get IntelliSense for that and even if I write it here I see which values exist and you don't have this IntelliSense with native TypeScript because TypeScript has no idea about Next.js. It also can help you with directives like use client for example so it will cry at you if you're using it wrong. So while this video is rich of Next.js TypeScript tips and tricks I'm not rich at all. That's why we hear a quick word of today's sponsor. Let's be honest AI gets painful when you try to get serious. Arcade makes AI useful again by handling the hard parts, secure tool calling and authorization. Their team has shipped tons of AI apps before and you feel that. So Arcade is an AI tool calling platform that strengthens your tool calls and provides you with pre-built connectors and a custom SDK. So if you want to connect your model or agent to tools and MCP servers like Gmail, Spotify or Google Calendar, Arcade sits in the middle as a secure gateway to secure that everything is working correctly and of course more reliably. You can configure things pretty easily, like you can use it in your editor of choice, like Cursor for example, or you make use of their client Node.js library which also supports TypeScript. Check out their platform and sign up using the link in the description. Thanks to Arcade for sponsoring this video and let's move on. With tip number two, typed routes. Typed routes is also not activated by default, so we have to activate it inside of the next config. So it's now a stable configuration called typed routes, which you can just set to true. And now we just have typed typed routes in Next.js. You don't believe me? Let's look into it. I would strongly encourage you to start a build before testing that because the build is actually generating the routes. Or I think it's also enough if you start the dev server. So now if we use a link, for example, a link to the homepage and we import this link by next link, of course, you will see we have type safety here. We see actually which types exist in our application. We create slot, for example, or login. These are valid pages here. This is awesome. This gives you just type safety when writing links. But you need to be aware that href is now not taking a string and instead a URL object or route impl. What, what is that and where is this coming from? Where are our routes saved? For that, we go into the next directory and then we have a subfolder called types and there it already is routes.d.ts and here we have our routes saved. There you see a param map where the routes are basically mapped and here the types are getting generated. So we have type safety and IntelliSense when passing an href. Let's move on with the next tip, route aware type helpers. So if we pass props to a page, let's actually go to a different page. Let's go to the slot ID page. So we have a dynamic routing pattern here. And in the page of TSX, I want to get this dynamic slug, this dynamic slot ID. So ignore the errors for now. But what we can do is basically, we don't need this ugly params thing here. We could just write props of type page props. And here we just define the route we're into. And now what we can do is say something like params equals to await props dot params. I mean, you see on the props, we have type safety already and we have to make this component async. Okay. And the even better thing now is we can get the slot ID out of this fully type safe. You see params dot slot ID. So I have a type safe way to get my dynamic slug fields. Nice. And even better, you not only have the params here, you also have the search params here, but the type of that is a record of string and string or string array. Yeah. But it's awesome to get this in a type safe way and the header of your component looks so much easier. It's just pretty, pretty simple to understand and better than three, four, five lines of type defining. The great thing is we can even use that in layout TSX, for example. There it is not called page props. So we write props layout props like that. And there we are. And now we can just use props.children. And of course, you can do the same for routes. But let's get to the fourth tip 
typed nth. And for that, I think this is not working in mono repos like I'm in right now. So I have to create a simple barebone Next.js app. So there we are in a simple can get deleted app. And here inside of the .env.local, we define a test secret, for example, hello world. And then inside of the page TSX, let's say we want to lock it in here. So we write process.env.test secret, but this is usually not typed. So how can we get types in here? For that, we switch into the next config and we need to experimentally opt into this. Here we have typed env, which we can set to true, which is enabling type checking and auto completion for environment variables. Nice. So now you need to start the dev server once and um, yeah, get on the pages. So the envs, the types for the envs are getting created. And if you have done this, you will notice if you write process.env, you get type safety. You get actually intelligence here, test secret does exist here. And this actually has a type of process env. Type safety for environment variables check. And the last tip of today is just multiple more TS things. I just want to quickly let you know your next config can be a TypeScript file because now you have the type next config here. And this means that all the things you can configure in here are type safe. Next thing is if you are using routes, then you have this typical web request and web response object. Next.js has some better ones here like next request and next response. Of course, we need to import them from next server. And now we have native but better version of the native request and response from the browser. So this gives you just a little bit more convenience, better type safety overall, and overall a cleaner access. And that's already it. Thank you for watching until here. You're probably a next dev. So videos like this one where I talk about Next.js renaming the middleware will be something for you. Or you choose this one where I talk about the new cache components. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye bye.